What's the strangest way you could possibly pick a destination to fly to? That's the question we asked ourselves while in Europe and our answer was indeed crazy. A few months ago, we flew to a random town in America by throwing a dart on a map of the US, which happened to be in St. Joseph, Missouri. What's in Missouri? How are you saying Missouri right now? Missouri? Missouri. <laughs> What is it? it? Sounds like somewhere in Italy now. <laughs> Missouri. I want to Missouri. <laughs> we ended up going to Bible Talk, getting interviewed on a Puerto Rican radio station, and going out with the locals that night, making it one of the most random and unique adventures we've ever been on. So while in Europe this summer, since reaching other countries is a lot easier than in the US, we thought, why don't we randomly pick a country to fly to? But after days of deadlock, we still couldn't think of an exciting way to choose the country that was crazy enough to work. And then our manager, Zach, said it. All you had to do was figure out how to get to a random country in Europe? Guys, even a monkey can figure that out. Alright, today is gonna be a story for your grandkids. Grandpa, what was the weirdest way you decided how to travel? Let me tell you kids, two orangutans, the f Budapest Zoo. So we're listed freaking names of countries in Europe on yogurt cups. Or whichever yogurt cup they pick up is the country we fly to. Hi, hello. How's it going? Hello. Hello. So we're at the zoo right now and the experiment is about to start. I've seen Planet of the Apes enough times to know that is bad news. <laughs> Netherlands. Romania. It's so weird to look into like an ape's face. Evolutionary history just stood right in front of you. I like wish they were in the wild. People think that the wild is a fairy tale situation. Right. Actually, in the nature, there are so many uh, difficulties for, for the animals. So, so the zoo is also for the conservation of the threatened species. Malta, Belgium, Czech Republic. We can end up anywhere at this point. All right. All right. It's our opening. Coming. It's coming. This is the craziest thing ever. All right. Oh no. Are we still <laughs> <laughs> My God, we're going in Germany. Germany, it is. Oh, it's gonna be good. Uh, yeah. Germany, Berlin. Here we come. All right, possibly the most bizarre trip of my life. The trip that a monkey decided might give us a list of 10 unknown ventures that we're gonna have to pick from. So we actually discovered that last time we filmed together was seven, seven months, months ago. ago. Now we're going on an adventure to Berlin. I think 12 challenges, crumpled them in paper, and now we're just gonna use this to pick. We don't know what he put in there, but we gotta do at least two of them. Hopefully Matt picked good stuff because I wanna have a fun day. <laughs> this one is speaking to me. Style each other and get into Berlin Fashion Week because it's going on right now. That's, that's funny. How do we even get into Fashion Week? Because I'm gonna pick a shit outfit for you. <laughs> well, don't do that. I'll pick like the most, the worst for you then. Like we gotta. No, pick a good one for me. All right, pick number two. Hopefully it's like go to a spa and get a massage or something. Help a stranger overcome a fear. I like that. <laughs> it's gonna be a packed day of randomness in a city that we've never been to before. Oh boy. <laughs> the challenge is when we sneak into places, we usually like dress up to look cool. And you're not gonna look cool for sure. No, it's not. This is not like make each other look ugly or hideous. Alright, right, we're in a central area in Berlin. Time to find a stranger who'll be willing to overcome one of their biggest fears right now. I'll ask these guys. Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a quick question? Never mind. Can I ask you what your biggest fear is? Do you have a fear that you would like to overcome? Do you have a fear that you would like to overcome? Uh, I don't live with fear. Uh, we had a challenge today to find a stranger with a fear and help them overcome that fear. I don't know, I have a fear of talking to random people, I don't know. Would you be down to try and like do a couple of exercises that we do to just push us in that way? Can we? Okay. Alright, oh, what's your name? Enrico. 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 Are you alone? Yeah. Nice. So let's go all sit somewhere. We can start brainstorming what we're gonna do with, the, with this man. I think for starters, you have to give 15 high fives. That's going to be very awkward. Just like walking 
down a street and then putting your hand up to high five people, it really pushes you to like overcome the fear of rejection. Your hand is gonna be like this most of the time. Uh, so, I, like, <laughs> how are you feeling about these plans? Bad. <laughs> What's the poor thing? I'm very bad about this. <laughs> you got it, Enrico. You got it, baby. People look at you as if you're like the weirdest person on the street, but that's them, not you. You're gonna be confident about the high five. <laughs> First one! That's awesome. the Italian charm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea what I have planned for level 2. <laughs> you happy with how that went? I am happy about it. Okay, so for level 2, we want you to know from 3 people what's the fear for them that you'd like to overcome. Usually approaching with like a big smile where you make them feel comfortable rather than like, oh, what does this guy want from me? Smile, but also like don't smile and like talk, but don't talk too much. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? I think I'm asking people their biggest fear is. No. <laughs> because my fear is to talk with strangers. I'm a bit shy. Biggest fear? Spiders. I have a big fear of spiders. When he's standing on the on a roof or something. <laughs> really? Somebody is in oh, danger who I really like. Totally, in the moment, there's nothing I have to fear. It's not serious, dude. Thank you, bro. Yeah, when yeah. you're confident, it all goes away, right? Yeah. 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 So our idea for third and final phase is to have, have him give a speech where people are sitting outside. And now it's more about like, what if I put myself in a position to be embarrassed in front of so many people? He's looking at you very suspiciously. <laughs> Let's break it down to him and then just take him around. So you're gonna strip in front of cops. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> this guy is just dying to know. Yeah, you're gonna give a speech, a very brief speech, explaining your fear. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think people will care much, but it's more yeah. about you putting yourself out there in front of a big group. Yeah. I don't know. You just gotta go for it. It's gonna be brief. It'll feel so rewarding when you're done. I promise. Okay. It's little does he know is that a bunch of people that are gonna pretend that they don't know him are gonna be cheering him at the end of his speech. The Berlin ESPM is coming through. We already have some people showing up. This guy just biked 10 kilometers to be here. And Enrico has no idea that he's about to give a speech to people who will, who will actually listen to him. So what are your pro tips? The scary part is just the first five seconds where you'll see people's faces looking at you. And then they'll either decide that they want to listen or they'll just go back to being on their phone, you know? Yeah. The more I think about it, the more <laughs> I die inside. Okay. I'll try. I'm gonna regret it, but... <laughs> no, you won't regret it, I promise. Everybody is in position right now. I'm heading back to Enrico and Thomas. I'm pretty excited that he's not gonna be giving his speech to people who don't care. I'm not ready at all. But <laughs> no one is ever ready. Stop filming me. <laughs> if anything, people will admire what you're doing. You guys can wait here. I'm gonna go sit down as if okay. I'm a customer. They're right here pretending like... Who have we placed here? Are you guys part of it? Everyone. Everyone here? Okay, perfect. <laughs> Let's hit it, baby. <laughs> it's full of people who are gonna judge me. I promise it will work out. This is crazy. Just count to three and then walk up. You're gonna compare this moment right now and then the moment in three minutes when you're standing and being like, what the f was I scared of? And it's gonna be all worth it. Hello everybody, can I have a moment of your attention? I don't need your money. I'm a bit shy and I want to face my fear of talking to people. Uh, so I think that uh, if you have a fear, you should uh, try and challenge it. So that's what I'm doing today. But thanks for your attention and uh, have a great day. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. What? These people came because we made a post on Facebook group. They came within really? 20 minutes. Yeah. And everybody here came to support you. Thanks. <laughs> you did it, you did it. That was amazing. Thank you. Oh, you. <laughs> One lesson that summarizes today, what is it? That uh, a lot of time you do get like rejected and people uh, don't respond well to you. But if you do it enough times, you forget the bad ones. I don't remember any bad interaction I had today, but I remember all the positive ones. Amazing. This is a perfect ending for challenge number one. And now off to the second one. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report.
Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. My name is Matt. I'm from Yes Theory, and we've just launched our new line of Seek Discomfort Activewear and Athleisure. And it. Got this. Got it. Do you understand what's at stake here, boy? Do you understand? Look at me. Look at me. This is the best goddamn line I've ever designed, and you're fing it up. No YouTuber deserves merch like this. Do you see it? You're wearing it. Promote it better, right? And I'll pay you ten dollars a fing week for you to stand here and miss my lines. I spent all night writing them. Now get them right. One more take. Run it. It's not that goddamn complicated. I'll do it myself. Goddamn idiot! Namaste. Oh hi, I'm Thomas from Yes Theory, and we just launched a whole new line of amazing clothes. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. Me and my pals, we're gonna be wearing it all summer. Cut. It's not so f***ing hard. By the way, sir, I brought your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> On a more serious note, we just launched season four of our clothing line, Seek Discomfort. It's only live for another 24 hours, so please be sure to check it out at the end of this episode. All right, back to Berlin. Woo, that was an insane journey. And now we have to freaking dress each other and sneak into Fashion Week. Not bad. I feel like everyone knows what these clothes look like, so you have to pick the most unique items. I like that. We're not doing cross dressing. I mean, I don't know about you, but... Uh, the thing is, again, I'm not trying to prank you. I'm Yours, like, it's very well put together. Because I was trying to style you. I styled you too, but not in, like, in, in the best style. Alright, I'm gonna set up my outfit right here on the floor, and he's gonna set up his. Wow, you obviously put a lot of effort in picking, hey? Switch, I guess. Alright, three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, mine looks dope. I know it does, because I picked it. Oh, we picked the same shorts! Oh, we're matching! God, dude. <laughs> God, dude. dude. I look way worse than you do. You <laughs> These shorts are so tight. Well, why are, you, why are they so high? We're not gonna get in anywhere. Berlin like Fashion Week, we're kind for you. Alright, I haven't snuck in anywhere in pretty much nine months, so I feel very rusty. What's the name of the event? I have no idea. Oh, well, those are cops. I do not want to do this. It's just about confidence. Let's just walk in. Just give our names. Hey, man. What's your name, please? At uh, Thomas. Thomas? Ray? Brag. B-R-A-G. We were put on last second, so I don't know if we got lost somehow, but... Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. Welcome. Dude, that's work. Because I'm the king, that's why I work. We look so ridiculous. <laughs> Turn the beat up and let that pop. Shorty rock like she took a pump. Other stuff they rubbing up in they comes. Think to herself, she'll do this once. We just snuck into this event. You sneak in? No way. Jump in this motherfucker. Everybody turn it up in this motherfucker. Uh, we brought the vibes. We came here just so that you could get live. Party costs nothing to get in, cost five. I don't do prices and I don't like lines. I just kill stages and bring them alive. Get all these girls to stand in my life. I'm hopping into, yeah. Birds to show you what I'm into, yeah. Vibes high, but my eyes so.